Hey there, folks. Uh, this is Ben Run Clausen. are taking a break from dissertation writing again to uh, bring you part two of my video series working on constructing this beautiful little ship, the uh, Leviathan Klaus Battle Cruiser. Um, as you can see, I now have all the weapon systems installed, and I'm fairly happy with how they came out. Um, I wish I could have done a bit more for uh, heavy forward facing armament, but to do that I think would have compromised some of the design features I was going for in the first place. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, like I mentioned in my previous video, this uh, this build started as a uh, reproduction of the HML Medusa from the board game Leviathans. Um, now, the thing about Leviathans is that the, the idea behind it is that in the pre-Dreadnought era, um, so before 1906, uh, they accidentally discovered a fluid that when you ran electricity through it, would let ships, f would let things fly. So instead of building ships for the water, they built war uh, or battleships for the air. So they 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 look like a, some sort of weird hybrid between a pre World War One and a World War One era battleship, um, which influenced the, the layout of the weapons on this um, as a result of being one of the sources from inspiration. And as I also mentioned, the other inspiration that came into play was uh, was Jack Campbell's uh, The Lost Fleet series. Um, it's, it's just, it's, 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 especially when I was thinking in terms of weapon. There it is. I, I have thesis brain. I can't speak today. Um, now, in the Lost Fleet series, they, they, they have a very limited selection of weapons. The primary weapons are grape shot launchers, which are basically giant shotguns, uh, missiles, hell lances, which are particle cannons, um, kinetic energy, kinetic, kinetic penetrating or penetrator launchers, which are basically which basically fire giant slugs of solid steel, and uh, the null field, which is actually a weapon that dissolves the bonds between physical um, or between atoms and physical objects and causes them to just kind of vaporize. Um, so I would that kind of in mind, that's what I based uh, the weapon systems on. I made a few modifications, for example, as you can see right off, I have a bunch of heavy turrets again, because of the um, because of the inspiration from Leviathans and also because I just like the way the turrets look. So, the main guns, as far as I'm concerned, you can see here in the front are these uh, I should also say now that all my, all my cannons, at least, are uh, by a modder called Mexplex, and I like the way I like his designs, particularly for their aesthetics. But also, I think they're uh, they're well balanced and well thought out, and they're not not too much overkill. Anyway, so my the primary guns, as far as I'm concerned, are is this, are these batteries of static cannons uh, mounted in the fixed forward arc, uh, representing the grape shot, or partially representing the grape shot launchers from uh, the Lost Fleet. Uh, if I recall correctly, I have eight twin mounts on each side and then four more twin mounts on the top. So what's that, like 40 cannons, something along those lines. So it should be a fairly effective uh, battery. Um, supplementing those, as you can see here, are eight heavy triple turrets. And then on the bottom, because of the way the hull laid out, I wasn't able to mount a significant number of turrets here, but I was still able to mount a heavy twin turret at the bow and at the stern. Uh, and then for hell lances, I'm using these. These are actually called the laser lance mod. Um, unfortunately, the mod itself hasn't been updated in quite some time, but they're still a nice addition. And coming around to the front, we have these are uh, hyper laser cannons, but I mounted four of them here to represent the null field because they will punch a big hole in anything they hit. It's just hitting things with them, especially the things that are moving, might be an issue. And then right in the middle is the nuke launcher, which uh, I've already recorded a video of me just randomly nuking a space station with it. It will blow up anything in one hit, but the uh, projectile moves extremely slow, so it's going to have to be a uh, 
a fixed station or something along those lines are at really close range, in which case you're probably going to take out your own ship as much as you take out the enemies. Um, now, because this is space engineers and in survival, you have to worry. Oh, where do that? I also have front mounted uh, three of these 200, 220 millimeter Ravager missile launchers. And then, in addition to the um, the turret guns, which help cover the rear, this is a little choppier than I was hoping, but uh, it's still good. Um, I have two more static cannons, and then another uh, Ravager missile launcher to protect the stern. In addition to those triple and that double turret there. Um, now, the one thing about Space Engineers is that I do have to worry about things like meteor strikes and also missiles are a big uh, concern. So even though um, the Lost Fleet series does not have much in point defense, the Leviathan's battleships have a lot of really small guns because, again, they're, play they're based on pre-dreadnoughts, which had a very few big guns, but a lot of smaller guns. So you have here, I have two classes of small guns. I have uh, Mexplex's heavy defense turrets. Uh, three per or six per broadside, three top, three bottom, and then I have, you can see here, even though it, it's glitching graphically, is it glitch glitching like that? Anyway, um, his anti-missile turrets from his uh, defense systems, they're all glitching like that. That's weird. I've never seen that before. Oh well. Um, together, those should provide adequate defense. Now, there are weaknesses, obviously, like because uh, unlike um, most vanilla, or the vanilla Gatling guns, and actually a lot of the mod Gatling guns, these don't have um, the entire, you know, 180 dome of fire. They have a very limited arc, so anything coming at certain angles are going to be out of their uh, range of fire. I'm hoping that I have enough scattered in enough different places to cover their weaknesses. Um, I probably don't, but we'll find that out the hard way when I take her into a survival mode test. Um, and I think she's she's nice and well armed. So uh, my next step is getting her uh, her her um, production systems up and running. Um, I already have her. As you can see, I already have her. Uh, reactors installed but that was just a necessity so I get her production systems like her um, refineries and the like uh, operational to give her you know self repair and self replenishment capabilities and then uh, hopefully that will be the next video so this is uh, Baron Van Closent sir I hope you liked my video and I hope you liked the way this is coming out I'll talk to you guys later